Hello students, I hope you all are doing great and preparing well for your KCET exams. So uh, this is a new video that I have come up with. So again, uh, we are going to do, we are going to go through the most repeated question that has come from definite integral. Previously, I have also come up with a video of uh, most repeated question from vectors. You can check that out as well. Okay. So th the format of the video is simple. First, we will do a quick concept recap and then we will uh, look at the questions where we can apply our concept okay let's see okay the first thing the concept recap as i think everyone remembers this property you have studied this property when uh, you are studying for your board exams puc board exams so this is a very simple property a plus b a sorry lower limit a upper limit a a to b f of x dx is equal to a to b f of a plus b minus x dx okay nothing this the the property what it says is in place of x you have to replace it with a plus b minus x that's it similarly the another variation of this particular property is 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x so a is replaced with 0 plus a minus x which is 0 plus a minus x one second 0 plus a minus x which is nothing but a minus x so we will look at few questions you will get a clear idea about this so many questions have been asked uh, like every year a question comes where you have to apply this particular property. So this is a very important one uh, that is why we are doing this. And one more tip that I would like to share with you is whenever you come across questions of definite integrals in your exam, what you could do is try to apply the properties like 80 to 90 percent of the questions can be solved. Definite integral questions can be solved using the properties. So try to apply the properties and solve the question okay fine let's come to the interesting part of the session questions so again this question was asked in 2016 so let's look at this in detail so first whatever is given to us let us take that call that as i 228 root of 10 minus x divided by root x plus root of 10 minus x so we will apply the property f of a to b f of x dx is equal to f of a plus b minus x dx so x is replaced with a plus b minus x. In this case, what is our a plus b? 8 plus 2 minus x. 8 plus 2 is nothing but 10 minus x. So in place of x, I will put 10x. Wherever x is there, I will put 10x. I am applying the property. Limits will remain same, 2 to 8. 10 minus x. In place of x, I will write 10 minus x. And in the denominator, I will get 10 minus x plus 10 minus of 10 minus x dx okay i hope everyone is comfortable in place of x i have put 10 minus x next we have next we just need to simplify this here you are left with just x and will get cancelled here you will get 10 minus x and here you will get x okay so if you observe these two let me call this one and this two the denominator is same the denominator is root x plus root of 10 10 minus x so we will add 1 and 2, 1 and 2 add. So you will get on your LHS side 2y and on your RHS you get root of 10 minus x plus root x divided by root of 10 minus x plus root x dx which is nothing but 1. And what is integration of 1? x as you all know and we will just substitute the limits and we will get 8 minus 2 which is 6. 6 is equals to 2i that means i is equal to 3. Okay. I hope this question was clear. So just we have applied the property. Let us look at another question. Okay. Uh, I think this is a, again a similar question. I would like this to solve from your end. Pause the video, try this question and in the comment section you can tell me the correct answer for this question. Okay, this is again a same question, similar question. This was asking the year 2021. Moving on, okay, 2023, this question was asked the last year. Let's solve this question. I would like to solve this question. 2 to 8, same thing. We will be applying the same property, a plus b minus x. Okay, first just write down, let us call that as i. Next, we'll apply the property. 8 plus 2 is 10. So, I will replace that with that. This will become 10 minus 10 minus x. 
again the denominator 5 of root of 10 minus x plus 5 root of 10 minus 10 minus x dx. So, this is reduced to 2 to 8 5 root x 5 root of 10 minus x plus 5 root x. Same thing again you have got 1, you have got 2, 1 plus 2, what is 1 plus 2? 2y, here you will get 1, okay, and that is 2 to 8. What is integration of 1? x, 2 to 8, again you will get 6, so i is equal to 3. So, the correct answer is option C. I hope this question was clear. Moving on, okay, this is another type of question. Uh, where you can again apply the same property. So, this was asked in 2012. So, pi by 6 to pi by 3. What is pi by 6 plus pi by 3? Pi by 2. I hope everyone is clear here. Pi by 2, sorry. Okay, pi by 2. So, on applying the property, first let me write the question. Pi by 6 to pi by 2 sin cube x sin cube x plus cos cube x dx. Okay. So, on applying the property, I will get pi by 6, pi by 2, sorry, pi by 6 to pi by 3, right, pi by 3. So, sin of, sin cube of pi by 2 minus x, because pi by 6 plus pi by 3 is pi by 2. Sin cube of pi by 2 minus x plus cos of, cos cube of pi by 2 minus x. So, what do you get on reducing this? limits remain same pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin of pi by 2 minus x is sin will change to cos cube x similarly here also it will change to cos cube x cos will change to sin cube x dx let me take this as your 1 this as your 2 1 plus 2 what do you get 2y pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin cube x plus cos cube x sin cube x plus cos cube x dx. So, this is nothing but 1, this gets cancelled and you are left with only 1. What is integration of 1? x and the limits are pi by 6 to pi by 3. What is pi by 3 minus pi by 6? Okay. It is again pi by 6. So, your i is pi by 12. Moving on. Yes, this is again a similar question. I would like you to uh, solve it on your own and tell me the correct answer. Okay. So this can be again solved easily. If you have properly observed the solution, you can solve this in less than 15 seconds. Trust me. Okay. Again, a similar question, this was asked in 2017. Again, this question can be solved in seconds, okay, in seconds. I would like you to try this question. Moving on. So, this is the another type of question. This is the type 3 question, you can say. So, here, again, whenever you look at these kind of terms in the denominator, 1 plus e power x, again, you can apply the same property. Let us see how we can apply. So, this was asked in the year 2020. Pi by 2, pi by 2, cos x. 1 plus e power x dx. So, what is pi by 2 minus pi by 2? The lower limit is minus pi by 2, uh, upper limit is pi by 2. So, lower limit plus upper limit, okay, minus x, okay. So, what is this? 0 minus x, so minus x. So, you are a plus b, a plus b minus x is nothing but minus x. So, we will be applying the property. So, in place of x, I will have to put minus x, simple as that. Cos of minus x, 1 plus e power minus x dx. I hope this, this part is clear. Pi by 2, pi by 2, cos of minus x is cos x. Now comes the interesting part. e power minus x is nothing but 1 by e power x dx. Now, this can be written as minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 e power x cos x 1 plus e power x dx. Okay. 
So okay, let me take the LCM and show you how this comes. Okay. So if you simplify here, you will get e power x plus 1 divided by e power x. Okay. Now this e power x will go in the numerator, right? e power x cos x divided by e power x plus 1 dx. So let me take this as my equation 1. Let me erase this part so that it becomes clear. I am calling this as my equation 1 and this as my equation 2. On adding 1 and 2, 1 plus 2, what do I get? I get 2i is equal to minus pi by 2, 2 plus pi by 2 cos x plus e power x cos x divided by 1 plus e power x dx. So, you can clearly observe 1 plus e power x can be easily cancelled. So, I can take cos x common from here. We get 1 plus e power x divided by 1 plus e power x dx. So, you will get cos x minus pi by 2, 2 plus pi by 2 cos x dx. So, tell me what is the integration of cos x? I hope everyone remembers this. Cos x integration is nothing but sin x. Simple plus sin x. Okay, please remember this. Minus pi by 2, 2 plus pi by 2. What is sine of pi by 2? Sine pi by 2 minus of sine of minus pi by 2. So, this is sine 90 as you all know is 1 minus of minus 1 is 2. So, your 2i is equal to 2 that means i is equal to 1. Yeah, I hope everyone got this. The, in, the, the thing you, that you need to take care of this, you need to give attention is 1 plus e power minus x. This will become 1 by e power x. Okay. This part. Okay. I hope this was easy question. This can be solved in a minute easily. If you know the things, you can easily solve this question. Again, this question I would like you to solve on your own. Again, you have to again apply the same property here to solve this question. Okay. This can be easily solved. Yes. Uh, that uh, please solve this and uh, in the comment section you can tell me the answer for this particular question okay yeah uh, i hope this session was helpful to you you got something new to learn and uh, uh, if this session was really helpful to you please press the like button and share it share it with your friends so that they also benefit from my session you can also check out uh, one uh, my other video where i have solved the most repeated question that was asked from vectors chapter don't miss that uh, video because that there is a very high chance that that question might appear in the appear in KCT 2024. Yes, thank you.